Hello guys, welcome back to Yellow Nap. For today's video, we are going to show you how to change card icon in Shopify Dawn Team. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So how do we actually change our card icon in the Dawn Team? So when we go to our website here, so currently I'm using the default team here, which is going to be Dawn. As you can see, when we go to the team editor, so let's just click on customize here, just to give you an overview here. So currently we don't have any option to change the card icon. So when we go to header here, you won't be able to change the icon itself for that specific icon or so the card icon here so how do we change that so currently for you to change that is you have to either select another team here or we need to touch our files or our code in our web website or web page here so don't worry this one is kind of easy you just need to follow the steps that we'll be showing you and you won't ruin your website or store here so in this case i am in the admin page of my website so let's go ahead and go to the online store section, click on the team section here. And what we need to do is we need to click on the three dotted icon that you see there. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, we want to choose edit code. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to look for the card icon that we want to edit. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the left section here, search for files, and you need to type in the following, which is going to be icon dash cart. Now, in this case, they have different uh, icons or a code or that liquid files here that we need to edit. So in this case, I'm going to first close this file here that I recently opened up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to edit this two sections or that liquid files here. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up the empty option here. And from here, you should see the SVG tag. So SVG is going to be what we're going to use to edit this one. So what we need to do is we need to find the SVG code for our icon. So in this case, I su suggest you to go to uh, websites that offer free SVG or the SVG repo here that I'm currently using. And from here, what we need to do is just choose the icon that we want to use. Like for example, this icon is going to be uh, the one that we're using. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is we need to download the SVG vector. Now, same thing, we want to go ahead and download the card that we want to uh, basically use. Like for example, maybe use this card for the checkout. So if, if the card actually contains something, we'll be using this SVG here. So let's, let's click on download SVG vector. Now from here, let's go ahead and open us in one folder. And from here, we can go ahead and start viewing the code itself. So first thing that we want to do, edit here is the icon card MT that liquid file. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up this file here and we'll be able to view it. But in this case, let's just open up the other one just to get an overview. Okay, so this first file here is going to be the one that we're using for the cart empty. Now from here, for us to view the tag or SVG code, just right click on your browser here. And from here, you want to click on inspect. So the inspect option is going to be available on any brow any computer or any browser that you'll be using so currently this is going to be microsoft edge so same thing so what i need to do here is just click on the tree dotted icon here and from here want to go to copy and click on copy element now from here let's go back into our store edit editor here and we want to paste the following so let's go ahead and copy or highlight everything here and just paste our code and from here what we need to do next is just click on save at the top right now same thing we want to go to icon card that liquid here and we want to open the other icon let's go ahead and open this one same thing we're going to inspect it and from here we want to go ahead and copy it so in this case let's go to copy copy element same thing we want to highlight everything and paste it and click on save at the top right now, once you've applied all your changes, so currently this is what's going to look like this is the basic icon or cart icon. So when we reload our website, we should be able to see the changes that we just made. So currently we were able to update these changes here. Just to give you an example, I'm going to add a item into my cart here. Click on add to cart. So when we click on add to cart, the icon will now change as well. And that's about it. 
So changing your cart icon here is pretty simple. You just need to follow the steps and you won't ruin your website or your store here. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yellow Nap. Thank you for watching.